in New Mexico, it's more based on if somebody complains. Mm -hmm. right. So, you know, we, we, we had a lot of problems. One year we had a neighbor complaining about mm -hmm. a mural that we had on one of our walls. And the city was coming down on us and it was getting worse and worse until we painted over the mural. And mm -hmm. then all of a sudden, all those problems went away. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. So yeah, really, and I'm not going to go into you know what are the possible ways somebody could create problems for us. Right, because I'm just know. not going to say anything about that. <laughs> yeah. But of course, it's always that's always a possibility. Somebody could right, create right. problems, or they could just leave us alone. Right. In South Africa, all the kids are registered. There's concerns there. There was a there was a, a free school in Santa Fe in the '60s called the Santa Fe mm -hmm. Community School. Okay. And, and one of the people uh, working at that school was uh, Ed, who we talked about earlier, who used oh, okay. to be accredited schools. They they tried to shut that school down, mm. and they went to court, and they won the court battle. Right. And because of those court battles, New Mexico has very, very liberal laws mm. when it comes to private schools. And basically, oh, okay. anybody can call themselves a private school. And the state can't tell the private school what to do. The, the mm. school gets, as long as they're not doing anything illegal. Right, right, and, sure. And the school basically can do whatever they want. And, yeah. and homeschooling, you know, there's a lot of homeschooling in New Mexico. You know, a lot of parents won't register their kids at home. This is the Agentic Schools Podcast, where you will learn about schools from around the world where children's agency to make decisions about their learning and living is more important than their academic skills. I'm your host, Don Berg.